Oh. Gonna bust the rhymes here at Buffalo.org at 9.5 FM. Getting hot here with the cast and crew of Black Butterfly. Right. On the phone we have Dirty Cop. What's up, Dirty Cop? <laughs> <laughs> now let's, let's, let's ask Mark here, man. Now, you, this is like, how many movies have you made? Uh, we've been involved in like tw- at least 11 movies. So then we being... Me, 1555 Filmworks. 1555 yes. Filmworks. You get your Facebook messages all the time. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, what are, you, what are you shooting this movie on? Uh, we shoot it on HD. Have def- a Canon HD camera. Okay, Canon HD camera. Mm-hmm. And what is your crew looking like? I my mean, how many people are in the crew of a, you know, an independent local film? Well, well my crew is me, Ricardo Eastless, and Don Warden. And what, <laughs> and what are they... Uh, uh, Ricardo is my DP, my director of photographer. He does the camera work, and right. he's also my editor. Right. He's going to edit, and uh, Don Ward is my uh, director of lighting, so he gives you, he gives us the look of the film. Mm-hmm. So know, yeah, lighting, it's very important. Very important. Yes. Let me ask you this: Most people, when they've seen like maybe a documentary or when you go to Hollywood, you see like these uh, crews or just crews of hundreds of people to make a film. First of all, you ain't got millions of dollars. Exactly. You know, number one. Mm-hmm. But in the future, do people need all those people to make a good film? Because you still make stuff that people watch. Yeah, uh, I mean, it just depends. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't think, I personally don't think that, you know, we're making a, an entire family. We have made entire films just like that out of the trunk of our car. Mm-hmm. I know Richard and, and, and David can tell you that, you know, we pull up in a small little car <laughs> and we mm-hmm. take the equipment out <laughs> and, and we make a film. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if you're dealing with... Uh, if you're dealing with a project like, say, for instance, Spider-Man, yes, you know, those people are necessary because you're dealing with, you know, uh, it's, it's just, the budget is just, of course, you're dealing with a $150 million budget. But, it, you know, some films is, is necessary, some films is not, you know. But we just know, we just know how to do it. Yeah, now, now what, what are some of the tricks needed to make a indie film work? Oh. And, how, and how do you stay under budget? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the things, yeah, uh, one of the things that uh, we do is that what people really have to understand, like when you're doing an independent film and you don't have a lot of money, some of the key things is to like, when you write the film, you have to make a lot of the stuff exterior. You know, you can shoot out of, yeah, yeah, you can shoot out, because when you're doing the exterior, you know, your production value can go up because you can go and steal a shot in front of Sears Tower. You know, Sears Tower, you know, opposed to doing this thing inside of your house. So let me just set it up. <clears throat> you go shoot the outside of Sears Tower, but you might come here and then shoot the scene of someone working at their desk. No, no. What I'm saying is that, like, you know, like when you're doing exterior, mm-hmm. exterior shots, you don't have to set up too many lights, you know, spend the time setting up lights and stuff like Keep that. Keep your stuff outside. Keep your stuff outside. Use the natural light of the sun. You just, exactly. Old school trick. Oh. Charlie Chaplin's trick. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let me, let, me ask, let me ask you on the phone, man. How, how is it working on, on, on an indie set versus, like, a play or something? Because, because I will say there is no editing room at a play. No. What those people see is what they see. Yeah. You flub up, you flub up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And it didn't happen, man. I just think some people freeze all the way up on stage. That's horrible. Yeah. I throw one. No, I mean, I mean, how many plays have you been? You know what? I've been in a lot of local. Talk in front of the mic. Right here. Oh, my phone, my phone, my phone. Well. It, well, this is my third film, but, you know, I'm a local actor, I mean, a local theater actor mm-hmm. from Chicago, so, mm-hmm. basically, you know, it's kind of cool because, you know, you get to learn how to do different things.